Hey man, do you wonder why you're not getting the dates that you wanna get? Well, listen, I'm gonna break down 27 reasons as to why you might not be getting them. And if any of them speak to you, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Let's go. Hey, what's up, man? Dale Valor here from Modern Flirting. So the other day on Facebook, in the Facebook group, the free one, by the way, which you should become a member of, uh, I posted 27 reasons as to why you're not getting the types of dates that you want. All right, and so I'm gonna go point by point and I'm gonna show you exactly as to how that might speak to you and listen if it does change it fix it okay listen I've been around now for 15 years working with guys just like you with dating and relationships and this video if you watch it to the end is going to help you immensely because it's gonna show a mirror right to you and you're gonna be able to identify the sticking points that you're dealing with and being able to fix them. number one always saying I'll start tomorrow. Listen, if you're going to improve yourself, do it now. Stop waiting, stop putting it off, get into it now and let's go. Number two, reading lots of books and not implementing them. And that goes across the board with YouTube videos or anything else. I'm glad you're watching this, but if you're not implementing what you're learning, what's the point, right? So start implementing the information that you're bringing in and go out and take some action. Number three, taking advice from your dateless friends on how to be better with women. <laughs> Look, man, you got all these people around you who aren't doing any better than you are. Why are you taking their recommendations when you have resources like this that can help you today? Number four, going after women who will make you feel guilty for being a man. Look. There's a certain segment of women that will make you feel guilty for your masculinity. Be unapologetically you. Now be the best version of you, but don't apologize for being a man. Number five, fail once, then quit. <laughs> All right, look, you know, you're gonna fail, especially if you're new to this, you're new to going out and approaching, you're new to taking action, you're gonna fail. It's just what it is, you know what I mean? But just like anything else, if you stick with it and learn from your mistakes, you will improve. Number six, thinking the world is fair. World's not fair, man. I see all kinds of people talking about like, oh, it's so easy for him because he's so good looking. And I don't mean me, I'm just saying the general sense, him. Um, but look, okay, fine. So you're not the best looking guy on planet Earth. World's not fair, man. So start working on your personality, displaying yourself better, communicating better, and that will even the playing field. Number seven, blame your circumstances and complain. Oh, woe is me. I can't get a date. And so I'm just not gonna even try to take action or try to improve my situation. I'm just gonna sit up and complain about it. How many times have we seen that from like guys like that are incels and, and, and MGTOW and things of that nature, you know, where they just complain, complain, complain with a negative mindset, nothing's gonna change through those complaints. What will change is if you take some action. Number eight, expecting a woman to throw themselves at you. I'm not gonna actually go approach or talk to anybody. I'm just gonna stand here and wait for girls to approach me. It's not gonna happen, man. <laughs> sorry, sorry to break it to you. You know, like, listen, women are very much so attracted to guys that take action, that take initiative, that are assertive and make it happen. Just because nobody's approaching you doesn't mean that you're not valuable or don't have good quality characteristics that are attractive. It's just you have to demonstrate it. And the first step is actually going up and approaching. Number nine, value the opinion of others over your own. That is a big one. If a girl shoots you down, oh, like, yeah, it sucks, man. I get it. But her opinion of you and that short, <laughs> truncated amount of time, Look, what would she really assess about you? Hardly anything, right? So why are you holding on to these things like you're worthless or you have no value to the world? Nah, man, value your own opinion first. And that and that alone is a very attractive quality. Number 10, avoid discomfort. I'm not gonna go take action. I'm not gonna go approach because that's scary. <laughs> I don't wanna be uncomfortable. Well, look, if you don't stretch your comfort zone, your comfort zone is going to be very small 
and you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunities in life. And that's not just with dating. That's also in many other arenas of life. So start Start being comfortable being uncomfortable. Start stretching that comfort zone. Number 11, tolerate mediocrity. Good enough, right? How often is good enough actually good enough? Not very often. Start trying to be excellent. Start working those goals to excellence, not good enough. Not the standard, you know, stat quo, right? Take it to the next level. Number 12, make promises, break promises. Look, if you're not trustworthy on some level, if a girl can't trust you, she's not gonna feel safe with you. And if you're always uh, uh, throwing out that you're gonna do all this stuff and you don't follow through with it, not just her, but anybody is going to find that to be really disappointing, okay? So if you give your word to do something, as a man, follow through with it. Even if it is uncomfortable, even if it's inconvenient, you gave your word. Make your word worth something. Number 13, waiting for perfect conditions. That's a big one. I can't go talk to her. Her friend's there. Her friend's always there. I can't go talk to her. There's a bunch of people standing around. You're in a public place. Where are you going to approach her? The bathroom? You know, like, look, there is no perfect scenario. If you stand around and wait for the perfect opportunity, every opportunity is going to pass you by. Number 14, Prioritize looking good over being good. That's all ego. I want to look good in front of others. So I won't take action. And the little action steps I do take, I'm going to let everybody know about it. So is that, you know, people praise me for taking this action, but I'm never going to jeopardize that by putting myself in a position to fail. You got to kill that ego, man. Number 15, avoid working on what matters most. Look, you have things in your life that you know you need to improve on. It might be health. It might be your financial situation. It could be any number of things, just different uh, uh, personality quirks, things like that, that you know that you need to work on. Work on the ones that are the most debilitating, and then once that's gone, move on to the next. Number 16, say you're going to do something and then you don't do it right like look that goes back to the make promises break promises if you, you you need to have your word be worth something okay so if nobody can trust it what what good is it, it, it it's not number 17 do what everyone else is doing if you want to stand out in the crowd be the opposite of what the crowd is doing okay um look Women love a guy who has his own set of compass, beliefs, all that, and is unapologetic about it. So look, um, stop, stop trying to follow all the little trends and, and, and all that and, and being a cloud chaser or anything like that. Be your own individual. Know who you are. Know your identity. Number 18, trying your best but not doing what it actually takes. One of my favorite sayings is, you can run as hard as you want running east, but you'll never catch the sunset, okay? You might be putting in a ton of work, but are you putting in the right work? You know, another example of that is, you know, the age old adage, you know, practice makes perfect. Well, not really. Perfect practice makes perfect, right? So that's the thing. Start working on what actually works and stop, you know, just trying to uh, 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 just put in a bunch of action for action's sake. You're just spinning your wheels, man. 19, talk more, do less. Look, if, you, if you're just all talk and you don't take any action, you're nothing more than a theory junkie. Be a practitioner, don't be a theorist. Number 20, start something new today, start something new tomorrow. What I mean by that is this, you never follow through with anything. Okay, I'm gonna start this program. I'm gonna sign up for this program. I'm gonna read this book. And then you never actually finish anything because the next thing jumps out at you and you're like, oh, I gotta do that. No, man, start, unless it's just completely not working for you, which, you know, could be the case. But if things are just, you know, you're just working uh, along a program or whatever, you know, like, look, 
Stop hopping around from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing to thing. Stick with one, finish it, then move on to the next. 21, believe what other people think about you more than you think about you. Look, you, all you're gonna do is fill your head with limiting beliefs if you just listen to everybody else, you just listen to the crowd as to why you can't do something. Man, everybody's got a reason why you can't. Give me one reason why you can, and we'll turn that reason into you being a monster, okay? Number 22, make a mistake, then wait and repeat, <laughs> okay? So basically just repeating the same errors over and over and over, bumping your head against the wall and not going back and learning why this mistake is happening and then fixing it. You just trying to ramrod a certain way of doing things that's just not gonna work. Number 23, being replaceable. Look, if you're just the average humdrum normal guy, even if you do start dating somebody, what happens when she finds somebody that's a little more exciting than you, a little more adventurous than you, a little bit more sexually interesting than you, you're gonna get replaced. Number 24, find something that works then stop doing it. <laughs> it it kind of goes back to the program thing, but look, if you're, <laughs> if something is working for you, accentuate it, keep it going, keep that momentum going. Don't stop, why would you stop? But so many guys do that. Keep the momentum going. Number 25, having a social circle that lowers your value. Who are you hanging around? If you're hanging around winners, you'll be a winner. If you hang around losers, you'll be a loser. It's as simple as that. Number 26, this is a big one. Assume you're always right. Look, I, I talked to so many guys inside of the, uh, uh, the Modern Flirting uh, Facebook groups and things like that who you can't tell them anything. They know it all, but yet they have zero success, okay? But they know it all, all right? So be coachable. Listen to what people who know more than you can teach you, because otherwise you're just gonna stay in the same place. Number 27, paralysis by analysis, meaning I'm gonna take in all this information and everything has to be perfect and I have to work everything out, every little detail, make this as airtight as possible before I actually take any kind of action. Let me tell you something, man. Dating is messy, <laughs> okay? If, look, dude, if you are just waiting to take action for everything, uh, every condition to be perfect, you're never gonna start and you're just using planning as an excuse as to why you haven't started. So start today, man. Let's go. All right. So listen, I'm Dale Valor. I'll see you in the next one.